this is our first segment of our first sports segment that we're doing right here. Ellis came one time and he like loved what we were doing. Told me that we need to put some football in there. And I said, well, we're right here in Texas, so we got to have football. Vikings they did. Last week. They took a they did. I mean, they got totally dominated in every aspect of the game. They bought the proverbial knife to a gun fight last week. Okay. Yeah, they, they got their, their butts kicked. Uh, okay. And uh, so we'll look at some highlights. And usually, when you look at a highlight package, you can okay. kind of tell who you can kind of tell who won the game. Uh, so when we look at this highlight package, what you'll see is a lot of purple and not a lot of red. So, okay. All right. Uh, well, let's let's, let's bring that up. Package. All right, so this is week five. So this Texas. is week five. They, they, they made the trip up to Minnesota. I played for the Vikings for a year, so I've been out there to Eden Prairie. Like I said, you notice wide receivers running wide open. Guys aren't in position. Again here, you'll probably notice you know, wide receiver wide open. They're out of position. Guys are not where they're supposed to be in the defense. Uh, you got to have defensive backs in position to make plays. You'll see here on this double move, You'll see cornerback bites. Oh, he's gone, wide open, safety's out of position, touchdown. Right. right. So you just show up and they're out of position. They're not where they're supposed to be uh, in, the, in the defensive game plan. And either they're not where they're supposed to be or they're getting out schemed. Again, you got a wide open receiver, man. You got to get close to these guys. You can't have guys running wide open through your defense. That's just pitch and catch for Sam Bradford. In here, they pound it in for a touchdown. So you see here, uh, they're going. Uh, I think here is 14 nothing at this point. So they're, you know, when you when you show up for a road game and you're not ready to play, right? And you let teams at home get out in front of you. Man, it's tough to get caught back up. They just were not ready to play, and the Vol and the Vikings bought a different level of energy. Here, even in the, here, you'll see even in special teams, they got outplayed in all three phases: offense, defense, special teams. They got outplayed. You got a punt return Ooh. here uh, for for a touchdown. Uh, I mean, you know, it's, it's special teams. Uh, it's three phases, offense, def offense, defense, and special teams, and they even got outplayed at this point. So as a team, they just did not play well. Right. Uh, here, you know, we got, they got their first three points. You look at it, it's 24 to three. They got their first three points going into the second half. You get Brock Osweiler here, decent play, but he was wildly inaccurate in the game. I think he was 19 for 42. Anytime you complete less than 50% of your passes as a quarterback, I mean, it's just atrocious in the NFL. You have to complete at least 60. Again, you know, guys just out of position, getting beat constantly. And these aren't the best wide receivers in the NFL. Right. They're good players, but they're, they're all wide open. You leave a guy wide open, they can make catches. Great play by that. Great interception, turnover by Brock. Uh, he's been inaccurate, and he's been throwing the ball to the other team the entire season. The, our receiver did have one chance to catch that ball. Right, right. right. He's nowhere in the area. But they're just getting totally outplayed in here. Ooh. You know that this is a highlight tape now. Right, right. All Vikings. Absolutely, All Vikings. absolutely. If the if the Texans had a highlight play, it would be on this reel. And we're in, uh, I want to say third quarter right now, and we've seen two Texans highlight, maybe 12 Vikings highlights at this point. Great play by this guy, just going to get the ball, just out fighting the guy for the ball. I mean, you got if the ball's in the air, it's you and him, you've got to outcompete him for that ball. Here we go here. Another Okay, one. here we go. We got a Texas clip. We got a Texas clip here, right? Okay, so we get but you oh. notice but you notice it's fourth quarter, four minutes left in the game. Right. Right. And we're right. starting to get a couple of Texas highlights. DeAndre Hopson got a kind of garbage time. Uh that helped me out on fantasy football because he's on my fantasy team. Okay, so, all right, uh, all right, all right. So, all right. I so I appreciated that, DeAndre. Good looking out on the touchdown. But it's garbage time, and at this point, you know, they've been thoroughly dominated in this game. And he's a great football player. But the quarterback has been so inaccurate and so bad that they haven't been able to take advantage of his talent. So, you know, if you, when you see a highlight tape like that, and like I said, you see all purple highlights, 
not too many <laughs> Texans highlights. Right, right. Man, you can kind of know what happened in that game. So Do you up? still know some of the guys that's on the team? Oh, yeah. Actually, uh, well, Brian Robinson, who had, I want to say, two sacks in this game. Okay. Uh, was still playing for the Vikings. Uh, was one of my teammates there in 2008 uh, with the Vikings. So, I, yeah, I, that was my last year in the NFL. I played it in um, Eden Prairie, Minnesota. Okay. The coldest place in America. I don't know if that's the coldest. I'm from dude, Chicago now. Dude, I'm telling you now. Oh. I, I, got, I, got, I, got, I get it. I got you coming off, coming off that lake. Yeah, it's something man, else that, they, they call it the Hulk for a reason now. Dude, man, but, hey, I, that was probably – one of the most miserable times in my life. Okay. You know, okay. Or not just not from, from playing football standpoint, just living. It's cold. It's yeah. dark. Yeah. It's, you know, the, the snow is slushy and muddy. Uh, it's not a cute place to live, but they're playing good football in Minnesota right now, and, uh, you know, they're doing a great job. Best defense in the NFL, still undefeated, and they're doing a great job. They lost Adrian Peterson. They lost the quarterback. They lost mm -hmm. the left tackle. Lost a lot of key players, and they're still being dominant. So, you know, hats off to Mike Zimmer and the Minnesota Vikings. All right, what's the next clip you got? Next clip here, uh, one of, the, one of the, the great things, I would say one of the positive things from this game is Jadavion Clowney. Uh, he's starting, you know, he was the first, run, the first pick in the draft uh, with the Texans in 2014, I think. He came in, he was hurt, uh, missed a lot of time. Uh, took a lot of flack from the Houston Texans fan base about, you know, he's a, coming in with all the fanfare, knee was hurting, he just wasn't productive. But in this game, he started to kind of declare his physical dominance, he, getting in the backfield, making a lot of uh, tackles in the backfield, which you don't see a lot of defensive ends be able to get in the backfield like that and make watch him get rid of this guy, get up there, play in the backfield, right. running back on the ground right now. That's a guy that's starting to declare his physical dominance because he's bigger and stronger than the biggest and strongest people in the world. Right, that's right. Why he, that's why he was the first pick in the draft. Again, tackling the backfield. He's starting to feel that, hey, these guys can't block me. I'm bigger, stronger, faster, better, and I can dominate games if I, if I, if I do the things that I need to do. And it just took him a little while to start to get that confidence in himself. So if you're a Texans fan, the one thing I can take from you can take positive from this game, especially with having J.J. Watt out for the season, Yes. This guy is starting to become a dominant football player. He's just got to get his passers game going. Yeah, I've seen grown men water up when J.J. Watt had to come yeah. out for the season. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. People, people were people were walking up to me saying, man, have you heard? I was like, what's wrong? Did you hear about J.J. Watt? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, dude, calm down. Dude, dude, I'm th that's the, you know, that's, 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 I know te it. that's Texas Jesus right there. I know, hey, I you know, know it. Hey, I know it. You, you, when Texas Jesus is out for the season, <laughs> Hey, it's gonna hurt some people's heart, man. So, you're right. You're right about so, that. So, but as a as a team and as a defense, you can tell they're missing his fire. Yes. They're missing his energy. They came out yesterday, and like I said, they just were not ready to play. The Vikings brought a different level of energy to the game, and that was the difference in the game. And that's why they got down so quick. And when a team gets on you that quickly, it's hard to come back. All right. So we, we're about to talk about next game, right? Oh, yeah. Next week's game with, uh, with the Colts. Let's look at the uh, the Colts. Uh, uh, the preview and um, uh, just a, a quick thing this is the the Microsoft NFL uh, app now Microsoft is the partner with the NFL all the tablets and all the technology that the NFL uses on the sideline surface pros they use surface pros absolutely so this app I mean if you're a fantasy football guy if you're a guy that likes to be able to go back and look at games look at the condensed version of games you want to go you miss you want you got a couple of teams you know I, I played for the Bucks. Uh, I played for the Vikings. I played for the Seahawks. Okay. So I try to keep up with all those teams. Yes. But it's hard to watch all of them on Sunday. Right. So you be, you're able to go back here on this app if you if you have the game the NFL Game Pass and go back and you can look at all the games. Or if you want to scout a certain guy, you want to look at a certain player, you can use this app to go through and just see everything in the NFL. So great job by Microsoft putting this together for fans. Now now to watch these clips and get your commentary, how can they do that? Uh. <laughs> Boom! Right here. All right. Yeah, yeah. So let's talk about next week. What yeah, we got? Cool, cool. Okay. Uh, so we got uh, the Colts coming up this week, uh, and this is a this is a division rival. So you no know, key to the game: offensive turnovers. Uh, uh, Colts key: uh, Andrew Luck turns the ball over a little bit. He has been prone to throw the ball to the other team at times, but when he's doing that, man, 
He is tough. He's one of the best. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm out here, but I want to get down T. with that. T. Y. Hey, T. Y. Hilton, one of the best <laughs> uh, receivers in the game. Texans third down offense. The Texans were seven percent on third down last week. Oh my Vikings. God! The, and he's wild. I mean, that 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 pass was nowhere close. Seven. If you're seven percent on third down, right. man, you have no chance of winning in the NFL. They have to be better there. Uh, Devontae Day is one of the top corners. Like I said, DeAndre Hopkins, one of the best receivers in the game. Uh, but you can't take advantage of receivers if the quarterback isn't making plays. So you know, that's a great matchup, but Vontae wins that matchup hands down if Brock isn't more accurate in getting him the football. So All right. uh, great game this great game this week. And I think, you know, the keys to the game for me, like I said, third down offense. We saw that seven percent. Right. If you're seven percent on third down in the NFL on as an offense, you're gonna lose. That's just a guarantee. Right. Uh, right. create turnovers. Uh, uh Andrew Luck has been prone to turn the ball over. You know, yeah. if you pressure him. He'll give you he'll give you the ball. He'll throw the other team the ball. So they've got to be better at pressuring and getting turnovers because the offense isn't playing well. So when right. the offense isn't playing, when we won a championship, we had a dominant defense. They have a great offense, but we had a dominant defense, and we created situations for the offense to be successful by getting turnovers and putting them in position to score. So uh, that'll be a key to the game. And they got to establish a running game. I mean, the quarterback's just not playing well. So right. the easiest thing for a quarterback to do is turn around and hand it to a running right. back. Right. So they've got to be able to establish a running game and take some of the pressure off Brock. All right, all right. Hey, everybody give it up for Ellis Williams. Hey, man, thank you, sir. All right, man.